All right, nothing's upside down. That's pretty good, Cancer. Let's start at the beginning. The Nine of Wands. It is kind of revising your life, letting go of things that no longer matter, holding on to the things that are dear, and are. Your looks like you're taking one last look into the past to make sure everything is copacetic before you move forward. It does feel like some physical healing has taken place, so you may have uh, been combating an illness the last couple of months, something like that, but it does feel like things are getting a little bit better. You're getting more on track as you release some of these responsibilities that really don't serve you and some um, responsibilities that really aren't yours. But it does look like you're taking a one quick look into the past before you move into your future. The magic man is here and this crosses you. So it does feel like that you might have been questioning your existence or questioning why you're here or what is the big picture. And um, it does feel like you're getting some of those answers. It does feel like you are embracing some of your magic. You have many talents that you have kind of dialed down to maybe help others. Uh, in their greatness, but it does look like it's time for you to embrace your magic and make some of those changes that will better your better you. And it does look like either this health scare or this um, illness really brought things into perspective for you. It does look like something happened on a physical level and kind of was an aha moment for you. You are, um, and for those of you that aren't religious, it may just be embracing the big picture of things. It is on the spiritual bent. It is crossing. So you may be questioning God or questioning spirit in some of the decisions or some of the experiences that you have had recently. The Queen of Pentacles is here. You know, the Queen is one of great authority. She's very earthy. She's very generous. She's a good manager. She's practical and a good buy advisor. She's also very fair with money. So that is what it's feeling like more than a person. Um, it is feeling like you are being fair with money. You're allocating things. You're redoing this, redoing that, um, and kind of looking at your finances. What is necessary? What isn't? Are you reinvesting in something or cashing in on something? But it does look like you're juggling money a little bit. Um, and it does look like it's a juggle to better the future. So the three of pentacles is here and the three really is kind of getting mind, body and spirit into balance. It um, also is um, accepting help and giving help. Uh, it is more of a spiritual card, more of a checking in re with religion, a checking in with um, your intuition if you aren't religious. But it does feel like you have ignited some practice that you used to do long ago. Could be praying, could be meditating, could be yoga, could be dance, whatever um, ignites your passion and moves out some of those fears. So it does look like a reinitiation of some kind kind of spiritual practice. Um, it can be, you know, reading a self-help book or just trying to figure it out. What is the meaning of life? So the Knight of Wands is here. Knights are action. This can be a person. If it is, it will be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This does feel like a focus on a person more than an attitude or an experience. Um, so it does look like you may be handing the reins to someone that is very capable but does not feel very capable. Uh, there is a bit of fear and a closed downness here, even though there's lots of action, they're ready to step up, but it does feel like they may feel that they are not ready. They are, they are, they are capable. They are just have some fear that they need to just march through. But it does look like handing off some responsibilities. It may have to do with money or houses or business of some kind, but it does look like you are handing off some responsibilities to someone that is very capable, but doesn't feel that they're ready. But they are. King of Pentacles is here. So this is can be physical things, worldly things, money, or a person. 
if it is a person, it will be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This feels like a legacy card. This feels like maybe following in the footstep of your, your family, could be your father, the way that somebody did something. You're kind of using that as a model for these financial changes. Um, it may be a new investment. I do see a lot of orange around here, around the chest area. So you may be healing your heart. You may be healing um, on, on a true physical level. You may be healing um, a heart problem, uh, a digestion problem, but it does look like you are healing something um, and you're moving forward with um, changing up some agreements around money, either how you manage it. You may be handing some of the financial responsibilities to this night, um, but it does feel like physical things are in your main focus or in your main um, radar right now. And you are using s how someone did something in the past as your path or your pattern for making these changes. The Four of Swords is here. It does feel like um, you are taking some of your worries to bed with you. It does feel like you may be having either nightmares or disruptive sleep. It feels like a lot of your creature comforts are being um, directly related to or, or affected by um, the worry and the fear that is in your space. So if there's any way you can like physically, um, you know, get some of that angst out, whether it's walking around the block, doing something physical, even, even speaking your truth to someone to relieve some of this. It does look like very worrisome stuff, although it does feel like it's fading a little bit, um, but it does feel like it is, uh, all these fears are starting to affect your creature comforts, um, eating, sleeping, drinking. So it does feel like on a physical level, um, it's being, these fears are kind of permeating um, your physical, your physical realm and causing some problems. So the 10 of wands is here. It really feels like you have a big burden on your back right now. It does feel like it's kind of secretive that you are not aren't sharing this burden with very many people. And I will encourage you, Cancer, to step out of that quiet um, comfort zone that you guys have and start to share some of this information before it comes out anyway. So you might want to share what's going on, little bits and pieces, and lighten your load a bit. But it does look like it's a very heavy load for you. Um, the Hermit is here. This is a card of isolation, but it's it's more of a positive isolation. The Four of Pentacles is also an isolation card, but it's more like hiding from things. Whereas the Hermit is going to the top of the mountain and getting information, shining his light, getting some um, celestial information, um, praying, if you will, you know, going to the top of the mountain to find yourself and to answer your questions inside. Um, but the, it's right next to the burden card. So see if you get some information that will lighten your burden, lighten your load. It does feel a little self-imposed by holding it secret and holding it so dear to your heart. So it does feel like um, there's some contemplation here. There is some um, either going to the top of the mountain and looking within kind of destiny work. It is the hermit, which is part of the karma cards and the higher echelon cards. So it does feel like you really need some answers and having a conversation with spirit, the spirit of your heart um, can really clear up some of the unknown and some of those fears that are driving you. Uh, we have the seven of pentacles here. It does look like you're trying to clean things up, but not really knowing where to start. This can be on a physical level. It can be on a financial level. There are an awful lot of discs and pentacles here, which tells me that you're working a lot on the physical realm, either reorganizing, figuring out money, figuring out uh you may be moving to a new house, taking a new job, something like that, releasing a job, retiring, something on the physical level. And it does feel to me that your physical health 
should be in focus of all this, um, whether it's changing your diet, increasing exercise, um, taking medication that you resisted, but there does really need a focus on your physical well-being as um, during this time. On one side of you, you have the page of swords, pages. I don't feel these are children. This is messages. And the swords are an important message concerning your certain your, your current situation. It can be work or social um, social situations, but it does look like you're getting going to get some information and get some clarity either on your next step or um, just some clarity on the situation that you are dealing with now. The Two of Cups is on the other side of here. The twos are always balanced. I think you have another two in here. Maybe not. Okay, twos are always about balance, accepting the dark and the light, working with what you were given, um, finding your strength. Uh, the medical insignia is here, so you may be fighting some medical stuff or um, looking at some medical things, changing the way that you eat, changing the way that you uh, hold yourself, um, and making your health and your life more important. Um, the cups are lighting up for me here, so it may be even looking at alcoholism. It may be even um, changing your diet of some kind, um, but opening up your heart and speaking your truth, emotions, you have a lot of them, Cancer. So it's now it's time to share your wisdom, share um, your life a little bit with the people who care. Um, Two of Cups is emotion, so this may be um, an unfamiliar emotional territory for you is what's coming to me. So don't be afraid to um, open up and speak to people that have dealt with what you're dealing with. But it looks like something of uh, gravity. So, um, it is something that you are collecting information on and will require some strength of character to resolve. So that is your general reading, Cancer, for the month of September. I know there were a bit of challenges in there, but it does look like you're moving towards wellness. You're moving towards more uh, communication in life and really getting things in order is what it's feeling. So I'm going to throw a couple of these chakra cards. They're kind of little one-word cards that just bring it on home. That one wants to come out. So isolation. Please do not isolate yourself. Don't go into the cave. It feels like now more than ever um, you need to be surrounded by people that you love, that have good um, positive vibes, that have good advice for you, and will help you shoulder this burden, whatever it is, whether it's money-related, health-related, emotion-related. Come out of the cave a little bit. Isolating is not going to do you any good. So the other thing is creation. Are you, um, it looks like a lot of your creations, a lot of your ideas have kind of taken a back seat for a minute and it's now it's time to reignite that creation. What do you want to create? What do you want to be your legacy? What do you want to be remembered for? And now it is time to put that energy into the physical realm.